Hi, Sonia here, and I want to talk to you for just a few minutes today about ethnobotany and what it is. So, um, I actually studied ethnobotany in college. I have always loved plants. I'm from Juneau, Alaska. I grew up in a temperate rainforest surrounded by the most amazing trees and luscious green landscape anywhere in the world. Um, I went off to the East Coast to college and I actually went for international relations. But while I was there, I actually read an article by a man named Wade about, and it was an interview with a man named Wade Davis. He studied under Richard Schultes, who founded Ethnobotany. He was a botanist at Harvard and he disappeared in the Amazonian rainforest for um, like 12 years. And he came back and what he studied was the ritual use of plants among the folks over there in uh, in the Amazon. Um, and a whole lot of stuff has transpired since then and we're looking, we're talking 50s, 60s, 70s, we all know what happened then. But the actual discipline of ethnobotany is essentially how people use plants culturally, right? Historically, culturally passed down through generations. It's that knowledge of the use of plants in our everyday lives throughout history. So, and what's cool about this is if you really think about it, before we started kind of um, going to the lab with everything, um, Plants are the foundation of everything we do. We build our homes out of plants. Um, we used to build our vehicles out of plants, right? Um, as in like um, wood, <laughs> wood wheels. Um, and so we eat plant-based stuff. We, uh, we eat stuff that eats plants. We, our clothes is made out of plant material, or was made out of plant material. Um, our medicines come from um, aromaceuticals, right? So, basic, and our medicine, our um, food, medicine, structure, um, clothing, um, dyes, there's just so much out there. So, ethnobotany is like all of that. It's our relationship with plants throughout history. Um, and so, and the more we look around at things, even if things aren't plant-based today, their chemical structure and how they were made and designed was based on our knowledge of, of our past use of plants. So that's ethno ethnobotany. That's what I studied in college. And initially I was really interested in the ritual process. And I did get a degree. My bachelor's is actually in anthropology. But I studied one-on-one -on -one with a um, plant physiologist and did a lot of research with her and I went to Mexico and I studied integrative medical systems so within anthropology I focus on the medical anthropology and the cultural anthropology piece um, while doing my independent research on plants plant medicine and and how plants work and provide for us and so I just kind of brought that all together that's what I studied in college and then through that, that has led me here to like therapeutic herbalism and working with essential oils and plant oils and botanicals in creating effective skincare that's not just um, great externally, but that gets into the body and helps us transform emotionally and physically. So that's ethnobotany in a nutshell. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I don't want this to be a long drawn out video. So any questions below? If you're curious about any of my products or what I have going on, check out my website, www.justbotanicalsak.com. I will be doing a, um, a blog here soon. I'm excited. So if you want to be on my email list to get access to that and other specials that I have, um, shoot me your email. Either go to my website and send an email or put it down below or send me a message through this page. All right, and if you know anyone else who might be interested in ethnobotany, organic skincare, botanicals, tag them or, you know, send them my way, refer them to my page because um, I try to keep a lot of value content in this page. That's my goal. So everyone have a great day. Thanks for joining. Bye. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.